Hi, welcome back again. My name is Monica and today I am here again with one more exciting video about the Atlassian app which is three dimensional date gadgets. Every time I use this app, I find it useful. That's why I thought let's make a video about this app so that you can also understand the features and how this app works. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. This app consists of three gadgets and the gadgets name is three dimensional monthly gadgets, rolling windows monthly gadgets and the rolling windows weekly gadgets. So when you will install this app, you will find the three gadgets that you can use in your dashboard. Let me go to our dashboard, which is a default dashboard. And you can see I have already used their gadgets, three dimensional monthly gadget. I'll tell you how you will install this app. So this is pretty simple. You will go to the app section from the main navigation. Then you will click on explore apps. When you will click on explore more apps here, you will come and you can search for the apps. You can enter. This is three dimensional and hit the enter. And here we have the app name. I have already added it. This is why it is showing added. But when you will do it, then it will give you options to install this particular app. When you will install and come back to your dashboard and will click on the edit. You will have our options to add a gadget. When you will click on add gadget, you will able to find the three gadgets here from this app when you will enter a three this is a rolling window monthly rolling window weekly and the three dimensional monthly gadgets are here you can use uh, according to your requirement now we'll go to their documentation here uh, here is the documentation and when you will click on the user guide you can see if we have the documentation about the three gadgets I will talk about firstly the three dimensional monthly gadgets and I have used the same here in my dashboard. You can see here, this is a three dimensional monthly gadgets. This is my project name and these are the years and here you can see I have my issues month wise and this is the total of the issues. Here if you want to go to the issues you can simply click and it will redirect you to the here. Here you can see we have the two issues uh, in the month of the January. Like this you can click and visit the issues so that you can have a look of the issues. Now we'll come back to the documentation again and you can read about the three dimensional monthly gadgets features and about the settings when I will go to my dashboard here I can click on these three dots and then I can enter on config here I have a setting I can choose the filter I can set the title and I can choose what comes in the x-axis and what comes in the y-axis what will be the calculated mode right now I have chosen the issues count but you can according to your requirement do you want to show the year or not you can choose true or false show totals true and false and then hit the save right now I will click on the cancel because I have already used the filter and did the settings now we will come to the second one which is configure rolling window monthly gadgets and this is something looks like this let me click on the image here we have the project name and we have the month name average as well you can see the latest month view issues for the latest month easily without running through the table average drill in view date filled trend indicators and the filter for the gadgets period here and this is the link of the original filter you can click and visit to the filter that you have used in the gadget this is a similar kind of a setting we have for the third gadget which is configuring rolling windows weekly gadget now we'll come again to their uh, overview page of the documentation and here you can have a look of the features like three dimensional date gadgets is a collection of the jira gadgets that i have already told you this is a collection of the three jira gadgets that you can use for your reporting and the, these gadgets are three dimensional monthly gadget rolling window monthly rolling window 
weekly here you can see the examples here and which we have the feature highlights and we have the some use cases as well where you can use a three dimensional monthly gadget where you can use rolling window monthly and where you can use rolling window weekly with the help of the three dimensional monthly gadgets you can provide a comparison of the statistics across the months and years and with the help of the rolling window monthly you can look at matches the issues for the past x, x month for example you want to match the issues for the last six months three months two months and whatever and look at a matching issues for the next x month let's suppose i want to match the issues for the next three months for the next six months for the next two months uh, for example the workload and anticipations uh, uh, we can have a look like rolling window weekly gadgets look at matching issues for the period of week selectors so it is really nice if you want to have those information on your dashboards you can simply use this app and show your information on your dashboard with just help of the few configurations or a setting you have to create the filters and then you can use those filters in this gadget your data will be presented on your dashboard beautifully now we'll go back to our dashboard here this is my dashboard and you can see i have a one more gadgets which is a line chart this particular gadget is also belong to the same company when you will go to this uh, marketplace vendors page here you, you can see they have a lot of apps and i have used this multiple filters chart gadget for dashboards and reports when i will click here you can have a look we have a option to show our data in a graphical way uh, it could be a bar chart line chart pie chart they have the lot of options are available you can use it also as i use in my dashboard this is a line chart where i have used uh, the line chart to showing my 2016 2017 and 2018 years issues this is exactly what i needed and that's why i really liked it that's all for this video where i have talked about the three dimensional gadgets for the jira cloud and i would say you definitely you will use this app because we always want to show our data on our dashboard in a beautiful way so that everyone can understand we will meet again in the next video where i'll talk about the different topic but if you haven't subscribed this channel yet then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can get a notification about my latest videos if you like this video then please hit the like button and share this video so that people can understand about this great app and they can also use this app to show their data on a dashboard thanks for watching this video have a great day ahead